Welcome everyone, uh, this is a video I'm putting together to hopefully help you uh, assemble the Servernaut LV7 F816 front LED lights. Now I've never done these before, I have gone through the manual. Um, subject to my last video, you may not have seen it or not, it's to do with the rear light kit. It ended up to be an hour long, which I think I'm going to have to trim, so watch this space and can have to be shortened into several videos. I'm going to try and do this in a few steps. So step one, let's just run through what you get in the kit. Now I've already done an unboxing video of this, so I'm not going to go too much of it. You can watch that on my channel if you want to. But just as a quick thing, so you get the manual, you get your left, sorry, your right hand light cluster. So as you can see, you get the LEDs in a row for a tick shape. And the right hand one, you get two new chrome inserts to go into the Tamiya kit. So the original one is here and this is the original one that comes in the kit which just uses standard LEDs and you end up with a little turn signal indicator in here but you don't get anything in this tick part. You just get a chrome with various three and five mil holes for various LEDs which is fine if you're using the Tamiya MFC. With this kit, you get new ones of these, and the first thing they ask you to do, there's some preliminary steps, which I've already done to save time, is to paint this unit here black. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let's just get my tweezers, which are handy for pointing with. So they ask you to paint this surface, the whole face surface black. You also paint around this headlight um, opening or bezel black. You don't paint in here, you do not paint in here, and you do not paint this part here, literally from there to there. But what I have done is painted the inner edge of both of these openings, and hopefully you can see that. Let me just try and get the camera. So we have chrome around here, but not on this bottom ledge and not on the top ledge and you literally paint the whole thing so you don't paint this little part in here because there is an insert that goes into here for that i'll just scratch my paint a little bit i'll have to touch that up in a minute uh, and there's a insert that goes in here so you end up with those so excuse me drop the pump so you end up with how they come in the kit and then once painted the other thing you get are these here these are they look like they've been resin printed or however you basically cut these off like you do with any of the parts you get in the kit and you put those parts into these holes to fill the holes so you can see that when that comes off here it goes into here so you end up with the headlight one in there the main beam one in there the fog light ones in there so you get two of those in the kit the other thing you need to do as a prep is paint your original Tamiya lenses. Now I've just followed the contour line down the side, along the bottom, along here. I painted the edge of the glass so you get a black light through the edge of the glass. So I've only painted along this edge, but you get the same effect on the inside. I don't know you can see that. You also paint this black part here. You paint this black, you paint this ledge black, and you paint this top ledge across here black. So the idea of that is that when it's in the original front, this is the original front, it sits in like that. So the idea of the black is to simulate what you'd get on the standard real truck is the black rubber seal holding the light in and you get a black finish to it. The other parts you do need from the Tamiya kit are these parts here. Now, let me just grab the manual very quickly. They are parts, these parts here, so AA9, AA8, uh, and K5, K6. Don't know why they didn't show them in two there, and you need to trim the little knobs, knobules off and stuff. And what they are is for assembling this little part here. So you end up with a clear part and a silver part, which you glue on to the original kit once you've painted it, ideally. Otherwise, it'd be a pain to mask around and what you end up with is, is a simulated turn signal but what you do with these kits is you use this part here and what 
Servonaut basically get you to do is you will need a 1.8 drill bit, which is what I've got here, and you need a 1mm oh, drill bit, which is here. And then you get you to drill a 1mm hole through the back, and then a 1.8, let me just take this out of the lens, and then a 1.8 on this face here. So you end up with an opening with a small hole. And what that's for is on the rear, on the actual lights themselves, not the rear lights, the lights themselves, you various got the various circuit mounted or SMD LEDs down here. And it's very, very nice looking. It's very really neat wiring and all the transistors and capacitors needed. Because you do not need to run additional resistors. They will run from 7.2 to 12 volts. On the end of it is this very thin, I've forgotten the name of this wire now, so basically it's already insulated, but it's insulated almost like with a paint, you have to scrape it off, you're going to solder. I don't know if you can see that there is a little SMD, so basically this LED that's here, that little small one there, which is for the turn signal I believe, there's one of those soldered on, oh, let me just try and get this into camera, soldered on these two thin wires and what you do, so if you can see they're um, attached to the corner, is that will poke down that hole into this lens part here, which once you put this on here, it will sit in the back here, this back edge, so in, the, in that silver area there, and that will pop onto here. So once this is glued on, we need to drill a hole through the back here to get an access to a cable and it will sit basically at the back here so it mostly will shine rearward and outward as a turn signal because you do not need one facing forward because there is one within the cluster which actually sits about here sorry my fingers are in the way it actually sits about here so you'll have one side almost lighting and rearward lighting because it's in the, the rear face of this lens in there and you'll have one in the main light itself so you need that you need that in these parts on the original tree the lens is from your original kit the other part you need is you need this here which is comes in the kit this is obviously the, the plate you put on the front to hold the body it doesn't actually hold the body it holds this panel here so this ultimately ends up being screwed to here and because this screws here and here and if you can see that this overhangs that line that's there so when this kit is in this sits in here am i putting this in the right side i am i yes no here i am when that sits in here it actually sits back a lot more in the original Tammy one so therefore it overhangs here so what you have to do in the instructions is they give you a template and there's a full size one actually in the book as well we need to cut this template out and as you can see we need to trim these edges off this plate now this plate is quite thick it's probably a good nearly two 1.52 mil thick so it's going to take a little bit of cutting so you're going to need a junior hacksaw or some kind of dremel tool but that is so that when you can take that edge off because as you see it won't fit with that light lens in there now as you say if you had the original one in here you wouldn't have a problem because it sits way below but what they've done is they've given you the depth of this trim here so you can see that it's a lot deeper which my paintwork but you won't see this they just need to be black i just did the side because i was carrying on around here there are little white <coughs> they look like they're laser cut or etched little and they're apparently very brittle there is one left one right it looks like they're giving this two left and two right, maybe because they are so brittle, people do break them quite easily. So we have to take these out of here, and from the back, the instructions say, is put it in this slot, 
and push it all the way down. There is like a little keyway, so it will only go in one way. <coughs> Excuse me. And they say to put the smoke side now. I don't know if you can see this, but there is actually some sort of smoke burning on it, I think, which is where the lasers cut through. This side is nice and clean. This side is the burnt side. So they say to put the smoke side outwards. So we're going to end up with this is the wrong side, but basically nearly dropped it and probably broke it. No, it's fine. Is you put that in here and you push it from this side all the way down so it ends up right at the very front here. And it basically turns these LEDs into a diffused light. So you end up with a nice bright white uh, light coming out of that tick. Now, I'll go quickly through the manual and then I'll stop this video and we can then start and then we will start we'll to get another itch. So preliminary work is to, like I said, drill a hole through the front. Now where they're showing that is right just past Hopefully you can get, I can get the lights a bit bright. Let me just see if I can get it out of the light. There's that little dimple there. You'll see it on your own. Get just past that dimple. You can just see that there in the manual. So you drill out one that there is your um, first drill a one by uh, from the inside a one millimeter diameter drill at a slight angle. So we need to drill that hole there. And then we need to drill the little silver part from the back with a one mil drill and then turn it around and then drill a 1.8 mil from this side so like i said you'll end up with a little recess here where that little led will sit and face backwards so you that's where you need the drill bits you will struggle without them the other thing that you ask you to do preliminary is to paint the light lenses now i've done one just so you can see how they look with and without and you can see how they are not painted here but they are painted here it's quite confusing because that actually is black there and then it's silver there and that's that little part there so in my kit it looks like I shouldn't have painted that part and that part but it says to paint it as shown in the manual and as shown in the manual here it shows to paint use my drill this time black round here and round here down here and across here which is what we have here so round here round here down here and down here so that's what it shows in the manual and that's what we've done so this is where the original lights would be so you don't do any of that but you obviously do follow the instruction for the lenses so you can see they tell you to paint the lenses as per the manual let me just try and get this under the camera the manual is quite bad so I don't know if you can see that I took this as a representation of using I used x18 which is gloss black I believe yeah black so you they said to paint down that edge along that edge along the bottom along this top edge round and then down which is what I have done with mine there so it's a little tricky it takes a little time but you need to do it in advance um, Anyway, but you could certainly build all the light lenses. You will need to paint this black because you don't want to be painting this while your little nice little bit of white plastic is in there. So that's what you need for the manual. Um, so that's part of the preliminary work is to paint this black and trim this plate. And then we have mounting. So this is where we will go through in the next videos about pushing the tick down to the base, putting a bit blob of glue in, making sure it's okay, cutting off the various parts now it's quite handy that they give you the a diagram here so that's actually the left part that's the right part because you can see the left one ends with a circular bowl shape and the right hand one ends with a little tick shape I hope you can see that there but it's fairly obvious I think if you got it wrong the one wouldn't fit I mean all the rest are standard lens the only one that makes any difference is this really is this one here because all the rest look like they're just flat lenses to diffuse the LED light to give you a nice brighter effect. And as you can see this is where now they're saying run that very thin cable down through that hole that we drilled out the back and mount the lights but what they don't show you is the final result of what the lights look like when they're done and then there's your wiring so we have a common red 
plus. Negative indicator, daytime running, parking lights, low beam, high beam, cornering lights and fog lights. So that would be running through the list here. Looking at the diagrams, we have a common indicator is over here because that ends up lighting through this little aperture here. Daytime running is this tick. Parking lights, um, I believe, is in here somewhere. We'll have to check on that one. I'll do a little video, uh, another video, showing them all lit up finally. How do they do it? Just connecting it to a 7.2 volt battery. And we have the low beam, which is here. The high beam, which is here. The cornering lights and the fog lights. So I think that's cornering, fog, daytime, low beam, high beam indicator and then we have one that's called parking which could be just one of the other lights dimmer but I say we'll do a little power up at the end and as I say they give you another full-size diagram of there now ironically that diagram is bigger even though it says the scale is one to one so that is not one to one so I'm guessing whoever printed the manual thought, let's make the book bigger. Not realising that you need to print a separate page. This one is one-to-one, -one. this one is not one-to-one. -one. So, note to serve or not, say on here, see supplementary information, not to scale. Um, and then that's the end, and then after that it's just related products. So they've just brought this kit out here, the side marker light set, and I've done a video on the... Where is it? The other one here. The LH H F FH16, which is not listed here, ironically, and that's the rear lights. I've done a separate video on that. You're welcome to go and check that one out. That has a little quirks in it as well. So we're getting on towards 17 minutes towards this video, so I think I'll cut it off here so we can keep under YouTube's limit of how long I'm allowed to upload for. So that's what you get in the kit. So say you will need a screwdriver, because they do provide you the screws screw it into the original Tamiya part. A drill, they show you using a drill, I recommend you get one of these little hand spinny drills. I'll see if I can put the link in where you can get it from Amazon. It comes like that, it comes with that, it comes with a little um, vice you can use. It also comes with a lot more drill bits so you end up with a half, a 0.6, a 1, a 1 1.2, a 1.5, a 1.8, a 2, a 2.35 and a 3 millimeter drill bit. So they're all very common and with the little hand thing here you get enough control that you can do things nice and s precisely without too much. I think if you put this in a drill you can quite easily bend and snap this or drill in the wrong place. The little hand drill gives you enough precision. Now you can obviously mark it if you're struggling to get through the plastic, use the hand drill to finish. But I do think this should normally give you enough purchase to get through. So I think that's it. The other thing we will need is some sort of poly cement. I'm going to actually, I think I've got one that's got the very thin nozzle on it like they show you. We'll be using that just to glue in the little white parts here. So as they are, they are, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little marking here that says L for left. And they give you two. Now whether you put them two in or you just put one in, they give you a spare. And then this one is marked right. So we've got those, we've got those, we've got the rest of it. I'll end that here. And when we come back, I shall straighten my map up so it's in shot correctly. And I'll put the other bits away that we're not using for the minute and we'll get on assembly in the next one. See you in the next video.